A really common reason why a lot of Amazon sellers quit within their first few months of trying to sell on Amazon is because they can't find anything good that's ungated. And I totally get that. As a new seller, there will be a lot of restrictions on the categories and brands that you're able to sell. But you should not let that stop you because getting on gated is a lot easier than you probably think. And today I'm going to walk you through step by step how to get on gated in one of my favorite categories to sell in, and that's grocery and gourmet food. But this strategy will also work across several other categories. So you can implement what I'm going to teach you and apply it to several categories to get on gated in. But first, if you're new here, I'm Cassandra and I'm a full-time Amazon seller. On this channel, you'll find me every single week coming to you guys with a new video on how you can start and scale your Amazon businesses. So let's get to it. Let me show you how you can very easily ungate grocery and gourmet foods today. The key to ungating a category or a brand inside of a category is finding a supplier that Amazon accepts their invoices. And this can be kind of tricky because one seller might submit an invoice from a specific supplier and it might get accepted. And then another seller might submit the same store or the same supplier and it might get rejected. So if that happens, go ahead and keep resubmitting. But I have had a lot of luck and other sellers have had luck with using wholesale.frontiercoop.com. And I wanna point out to you that there's actually two different sites here. There is a regular frontiercoop.com website and that's not the one that you wanna use. So first and foremost, make sure that it is the wholesale Frontier Co-op website. Now you're going to notice when you try and make an account that there's two different options. This one over here is a $10 activation fee and you only have to pay that one time. The difference between that one and over here, the one where you're not a member and it's completely free, is really that if you have the $10 activation fee, they're not going to charge you a 10% surcharge on the products. So really it's completely up to you. If you plan to just use this website to on gate quickly and you're not going to reorder, then you can just go with the non-member account. But it is only $10 if you plan on maybe reordering supplies through here to get that membership account and then you also won't have that surcharge on top of the products. Once you're logged in, you can come right over here to shop by category, grocery, and then start browsing. Let's start first with spices and seasonings because that's something that's really light. So now we're just going to start right clicking on top of the products and I'm going to use Seller Amp to check those products on Amazon. But if you don't have Seller Amp, all you would need to do is open up a separate tab and then you would start manually checking those products on Amazon. So Seller Amp just saves me a little bit of a step because I can just right click and SAS search. Then right here on the side, my Seller Amp pops up and I can start looking through to see if this product exists on Amazon. But if you don't want to pay for Seller Amp, that's fine. Instead, click on the product, copy the description, and paste it right into Amazon. So I'm not seeing that specific seasoning. So we're just going to go back and try again. Let's check this rosemary. I really like using the Seller Amp feature though because I can have the image and the Amazon one right beside each other to see if it's an exact match. We found the rosemary, but this one says that it is the leaf and we're trying to look for the whole. So you wanna make sure that it is the same exact product. And here it is right here. But the problem is the selling point is so low, but let's click here and go into the listing. Now I use this AMZ online arbitrage multi-tool and this is just a completely free Google Chrome extension. So I can easily go to my seller central by clicking this button right here and see if this is something I'm gated or on gated in. And this screen is what comes up a lot of the time, but all you need to do is go back to the page and grab the ASIN. So we will copy and paste the ASIN from right here. Or if you don't have this tool, you can go down to the product details. Then we'll select new for the condition and sell this product. So for me, the selling application has just popped right up and that is the indicator to the seller that they are okay and they are able to sell it. If you don't have that tool, all you need to do is go to your Amazon seller account to check the ASIN there. So we will go to catalog, add products, paste in that ASIN and search. So those are just two different ways that you can check to see if the category or the brand is gated for you. Now you'll wanna be sure that the product that you found is actually in the category that you're trying to get ungated for. So right here using this tool, I can see it is in the category of grocery and gourmet food. So if I was to be gated in this category, I could use this product to get 
on gated. So we have a potential product. I'm just going to run the numbers through the profit guru calculator to see how much of a loss it would be for us. So we'll paste that ASIN. And the reason why I like to use this software is because in the calculator, I can see SNL right here. And that means small and light. Because this product is under three pounds and because the price point is under 10, I can enroll it in Amazon's small and light program, which means they're going to take less in fees. So the cost price would be $1.31 from the Wholesale Frontier Co-op. And right here where it says regular, this would be your profit if you were just enrolling it into the regular FBA program, which you can see there's actually a net profit of nine cents. But after you factor in that you're going to have to ship these products to Amazon, that will actually be negative profit. However, if you enroll into the Small and Light program, then right here, the Amazon fees drop from $4.03 to about $2.66. So now there's actually room for this product to bring you back a little bit of profit, which is great because when you are getting products for the intention of on-gating, typically you don't really make a lot of money on them. You're just using them to on-gate that specific category. So the first product that we found and we tried, there's actually some profit here and you can use that to now on-gate in grocery and gourmet foods. So now now we'll just do a little bit of an extra check here. Rosemary, whole, look at the floral ounces. Rosemary, whole, same floral ounces, but I'm also gonna go down and check another area just to make sure it's not actually a bundle. So the packaging dimensions do match. I know that this is about two tenths of an ounce and because this is small, I know that it's not for more than one. Sometimes people who set up the listings don't do a great job. And if the packaging dimensions are a lot higher than the actual product itself, that's a good indicator that it's actually a multi-pack and not one single unit. So always check. So what you would do from this point is when you enter in the ASIN into check the product catalog or by clicking here on Seller Central, you would not have the seller application pop up because you would be gated in this category. So instead you would click the button that says apply to sell. Now the key here is you have to order at least 10 units. So order 10 of these if you choose this to be your on-gating product. And then the Wholesale Frontier Co-op will send you those 10 products with the invoice. You're going to need both of those things. So when you submit the seller application, you're going to input a copy of the invoice. And then you're also going to take a picture of all 10 units lined up front and back, and then insert those into the application as well. Underneath that, there's going to be a little area where you can put some comments. And I always put something in there like, I ordered ordered these products from an authorized supplier and I've attached all of the information that you need above. Please let me know if there's any questions you may have. And then I submit. Usually you'll hear back within 24 to 48 hours. And if for some reason you get a rejection, don't just say, oh, I got rejected resubmit it, especially if they don't tell you a reason why it was rejected. Sometimes it might've just gone to a bot who just auto rejected it. So always keep resubmitting that application. It might take a few tries, or if there's something specific on it that you forgot, they will tell you what you forgot and then you can just insert that in. Now, maybe you were hoping to find something that made a little bit more profit. This actually was an okay product to find for on gating because there was some profit to be made, but you can just go ahead and search this brand right into Amazon and see what comes up. And who knows, maybe there are other products Products by the Frontier Co-op that sell really well and for good profits on Amazon. The only thing I'd be really interested in checking is to see if the actual brand Frontier Co-op is a seller on the listing, because if they are, they usually dominate the majority of the sales. But the prices do seem pretty high for these products. Let's click on this elderberries. So we have one pound organic dried elderberries. I'm going to search that on the Frontier Co-op. And here we have the organic going for $18.13. So it doesn't seem like that one's going to be profitable, but that's all you have to do is keep going back and forth, finding the products that are on the site, looking for them on Amazon and trying to see if there is a big price difference, because ideally you want that price on Amazon to be three times higher than what you're sourcing it for from the manufacturer or supplier. So that first product would definitely work to get you on gated and grocery and gourmet food. And then you can come back here to shop by category and you can do the same in other categories. So maybe health and beauty, vitamins, supplements, you can shop by brand. And they do carry a lot of Burt's Bees, which is cool because even if you do get on gated in beauty, the brand Burt's Bees would still be gated for you. So you could actually use one of these products to on gate the category of beauty and also on gate the specific brand, same thing order 10 units, 
submit the invoice and the photos into the application and boom. Bob's Red Mill, this is a nice brand for grocery and gourmet food. Those sell really well. The only problem is some of the products get a little heavy, but that would be something to look into. So as I said earlier, Wholesale Frontier Co-op is typically accepted for sellers, but don't get upset if it's not accepted for you because nobody really knows. Like I said, one supplier might get accepted by a seller and then if you submit it by a different seller then it might get rejected and that's just kind of the game of amazon but this is a supplier that i found that does get accepted a lot so i hope you found this video helpful i hope you're able to use it and ungate in several categories and again if they reject it keep resubmitting and trying. Sometimes it takes a few tries. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let me know by liking this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.